Hey everyone, and welcome to another paint pouring video. This is the second to last painting that I've completed recently, so I'm almost all caught up. Um, which also means that my phone is functioning better now that I have all the saved videos off of it. Uh, so I'm still using the Amsterdam uh, low odor acrylic spray paint. I, you know, I'm pretty happy with this spray paint. Uh, um, it's the most consistently good spray paint that I've found. And the low odor is just like such a big plus for me. I mean, I live in like an apartment complex, well, condo complex, I guess. And I really don't wanna, you know, bother my neighbors with the smell of spray paint all the time. And you know, when I do these backgrounds, <laughs> there's like quite a bit of spray paint happening. I mean, uh, I show a portion of the spray painting in these videos, but um, I usually turn off the camera and keep on going, trying to get the gradient perfect. Um, I mean, obviously I don't want to show the whole process just because like, it's just uh, doing the same thing over and over again. It, it, it's pretty boring watching it, I, I can imagine. And it, I mean, there isn't really that much of a difference. You can see, uh, when the camera cuts out for a second and comes back on again, that is just a little bit smoother all around. Um, so the colors I chose, I was going for like a burning background and then like almost a complimentary color for the planet. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty well. So the acrylic paint, I completely changed up my formula here. Um, you can see that I'm using uh, the Red Solo cups. That's because when I was using those like Dollarama uh, squeeze bottles, I couldn't really see the consistency of the paint really well. And seeing as I was completely changing my recipe, I really needed to see how thick the paint was actually going to be. Um, so I think that it actually was a little too thick. I mean, the ribbon didn't move at all, which I was super happy about. But at the same time, when it dried, the, I guess the texture of it was just a little bit off. Um, I don't know. My other ribbons just seem to be just like a little bit more refined compared to this ribbon when it dried. Um, like I'm definitely going to have to resin the whole thing just to kind of like smooth it down a bit. But in any case, it, I mean, the thicker paint definitely created a couple of interesting um, effects in my ribbon, um, mainly because I think the speed in which the paint was exiting the tray was a lot slower. Um, not something that I was really used to, so I was moving my tray faster than the paint was coming out. And so it created this kind of like broken up effect uh, right at the end, which was really cool. I think that uh, it was a really neat effect that I managed to get uh, inadvertently, of course. For me, I think the one thing that was missing on this painting uh, was the wild stringy bits um, that I've gotten on um, other paintings. I mean, uh, that's really my favorite part. Uh, just the kind of uncontrolled little flings of paint. Um, the, this paint was definitely way too thick to be able to achieve anything close to that effect. Um, so yeah, I, I think yet another reason why I just need to get that paint a little bit thinner because there's no way that there, it was going to be stringy at all. I mean, it would just clump out. Um, right here I had like a whole bunch of leftover paint in my tray. So I just grabbed a couple of pieces of spare board and uh, tried to empty it out the best I could so I could reuse the tray because, I mean, there was still quite a bit of paint in there. I actually ended up really liking the ribbon on that spare piece of board. I really wish that I had gotten it on the canvas rather just on, than on a scrap piece of board. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I need to have like a spare canvas ready. Um, for instances such as these. Um, yeah, anyways, that's about it. I mean, I really don't have a whole lot else to say about this painting. I think that it, it, uh, 
definitely was a good exercise in figuring out my recipe. I learned a whole bunch about um, how thick the paint needs to be or how thin the paint needs to be, rather. Um, don't think I've given this one a name yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel and hit that bell button for notifications for when I post new videos. Um, next painting I post is actually going to be just spray paint. Um, I did a good job of the background and I think that it just doesn't need a ribbon. But the one after that, I've built a new tray, a really big tray, so that should be an interesting one to see. I'm really nervous about pouring that. Uh, anyways, hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.